is Queen Deja, and in today's video, <clears throat> I will be reacting right to episodes 10 and 11, Oro Wani Monogatari. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 10 in 3, 2, 1, go. Uh-huh. Okay. Did- Oh my god! I mean, you know, she probably, you shouldn't have thrown that like that to him. I mean, you know, uh, girl got a death wish. <laughs> Is it doing what I think it's doing? I wouldn't have been surprised if that thing would have turned into a damn snail or a cat or a fucking tiger or shit. I mean, damn, you already had a crab and a fucking monkey. What else do you want to do next? I mean, huh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he'll be fine.
Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna keep my comment. Ha, 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 ha. 
It is a little weird how she's kind of using Oshino's name to, you know, not truly say, oh, hey, I'm the sister of your mother, da da da, da. I get that, but I, I think maybe because of the fact that she doesn't want to go ahead and have that conversation with, with comedy right now, that's okay, but we're still going to like, because I really want to see the conversation between each other, obviously. Yeah. Uh -huh. She even told us in the movie. Uh -huh. And then she never saw him again. Yeah. So then if it's not him, who could it be? What do you mean, why? It just can't. You're right about that. So he's not fully OP, he's semi basically.
Oof, I have. And that's what, mm hmm Just write about that, though, because that literally, this shit could happen to, like, anyone. But it just happened to you. You were just the one who, you know, discovered Shinobu, and yeah. And it started. Yeah. And then Just waited until the right time to come back.
well, shit. I ain't really got nothing else to say about this. I mean, she, she said everything that I needed to know and how I felt. It's just like, oh, this, I don't know why, because now looking at the series as a whole, even though we're not 100% done with it yet, it's just a big old chess game. The pieces have been lying, everything, there's always something else despite how far you get. And it's just like, oh, oh God. A lot. <laughs> Ugh, but, mm. Easy, what the fuck? Ugh. I knew she was gonna go in detail, but not that much. I, I thought she was maybe gonna save a little bit more for the second half of the episode or the second episode after this one, but no, she. She went in and. It really all makes sense. Like, now he's probably going to show up again and he's just going to beat the living crap out of Shinobu. I got to do my protector, maybe. I don't know. But in the end, it's her fight. I mean, he's in it, yes, because he's just another pawn in this. I don't know. I'm torn. I, I am really torn, but... Oh, God. I, I really don't know how to feel about this. This is a damn good episode. I had some really funny moments and sweet moments and everything, but ooh. What the fuck will happen now? I mean... <laughs> oh, I know we got, we got like, what, three? Three episodes left, because I got the last two of the next week for me. Mm. I know she's going to help. She's going to help a little bit more, but I feel like there's going to be a point where she's going to have Ononoki or someone else come up, but like just to know about. There were so many things I had so many questions on ever since the beginning of this series, ever since I started watching this, and somewhat in this episode, all of them got answered. Everything that always went in my mind that I never really truly asked in a video that I kept in the back of my mind and I was like, I'm gonna keep this in my back of my mind until like when I think it's time to possibly be talked about. And then she just went in. She was just like, bam, 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 bam. Like, here's everything you just really need to know. And I'm just like, mm. it was good. <laughs> that's all I mean to say that was good but I just I'm just with three episodes left I'm just trying to wonder how in the world this is gonna end and I mean we've now seen this creature this thing not only be half crab half snake but as a um no I, I messed up half crab half monkey then turn into a snake I kept thinking it was gonna turn into a tiger or a cat significant um symbolizing Hanakawa and her situation possibly gonna turn into a snail? Is it possibly gonna turn into a phoenix? Who fucking knows? I mean, mm, probably not because she and we ate it all, <laughs> which was really disgusting to see. I mean, I wasn't expecting she and to eat that, and I'm just like, y'all just gonna leave it there? Like, yeah, we're in. and then she and was just like, nope, I'm gonna eat it, and I'm just like, no. <laughs> Go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 11. Okay, episode 11 in 3, 2, 1, go. Mm, your sister. Mm -hmm. So it all makes sense.
No, but I don't know where they are. Yeah. Mm. So then I put him Okay. Okay. But instead, shit happened, and then the shit that happened in the first movie, and so on and so forth, leading up until now, right here in this timeline. Okay. The only reason, though? Then what is it? Go ahead. I mean, well, she is your niece after all. Hmm.
Try that another. Mmm. See, now the biggest thing is I'm wondering is now that he's learning all of this from Diane, how can you trust anything that she ever could say? Not really. <laughs> Me too, but you don't really have that much time to explain everything. Yes, what the heck are they supposed to do now? How are they going to stop him? Okay. I mean, but you might as well just tell them what the original plan was, little Hokey. Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, you just want to get somebody a seizure with that. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, she just...
See how she has her back turned to you and not saying anything. Mm -hmm. Had to. And then that had to be when he decided to do his revenge plan. Yeah, and wouldn't it be a little too easy if we called her? No, you can do it yourself. It's fine. Yeah, so you need to strike them as their thing. A good, uh, you need to do something. Chris.
Even though I'm kind of pissed at her, I still can't be that mad at her. She's just adorable. I want some donuts too. <laughs> It'll be fine. <laughs> A book. Okay, that kind of book. Is it erotica? <laughs> That's true. Karen. There's some guys by their girlfriend's boss right there.
Um. Hold. <laughs> Yo, I was not expecting him to make an appearance in the book at the end of this episode. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? What the fuck? Mm -mm. Thank God it wasn't the route <laughs> in the lingerie store. <laughs> that would have been hilarious, but oh. Oof. <laughs> This is going to be a little weird next week because, it, I mean, he's voiced by the same person and it's just going to be like, yeah, it's just a conversation. You're just in the booth talking to yourself for a couple of minutes. But, <laughs> bruh. <laughs> this boy, my son, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I mean, we'll move all in there. Oh, well, no, I haven't really bought a, a book on dopes. <laughs> I would like to. But, um... What? No, hold on. Why go, go to a store just to buy a book on milfs when you, you have... You have the internet? <laughs> you have your phone! <laughs> God, but I mean, next week, of course, he, he's it's gonna show him asking again, and then he's probably gonna say yeah, and they're gonna have another conversation about Shin Boo, maybe. But I mean, I, I kind of wish that we got to see whoever Guyan is possibly going to meet. We're maybe gonna see it in the last two episodes next week, but I think, in my opinion, it would have been a little bit better to show it in this episode. But we still need to know, like, it's the mysterious thing, because you're wondering who this person is, who he is, wanting to know their backstory. But, I mean, they're going to come in the last two episodes <clears throat> of this arc. But, oh, God, out of all the people, it had to be him. I, I had a weird feeling about it, but I was like, I kept shaking it off, like, no, I don't think he's going to show up again until episodes... Um, 12 and 13, but <laughs> no, we just, once I heard the voice and I was just like, shit, <laughs> because the hair is so long, I, at first I thought it was his sister and I was like, okay, like his sister's at the, you know, bookstore trying to get a book too, okay, that's fine, but no, <laughs> but oh my god, once again, Guyan went in, like, went fucking in in this episode. I mean, Jesus. She knows everything. Like, th I think there was one time when we, I think when we first met her, I was, I think I said, well, hell, she might even know how this show might end. Like, for Agaragi and everyone else. And I still stand by that. I felt, because the fact is, she's like, oh, I know everything. And how Hanukkah was like, no, I know nothing. And it's like that. Maybe. You never know. I mean, the fact is that she's known all of this and then everything that um, Shinobu's first king has been plotting and everything. It's just, I don't know. I mean, if I ever decide maybe immediately after I'm done watching this series for the first time to watch it again and to see everything because... There are things, like, when you watch it, like, the second or third or fourth time that you don't, that you necessarily catch that you didn't catch the first time. And you're like, oh, okay, well, that makes sense with this and why they said this and this arc and da da da, da. And that's what it kind of feels like because everything that she's, like, said from these last two episodes makes sense from so many different arcs. And then you're like, oh, okay, now I understand this and I understand why I went like this and yada yada and stuff. But, <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm a little scared for Agaragi right now because, I mean, he can hold his own, but Shinobu's not there with him. I mean, he should have just hurried up, took a shit, and got the fuck out. 
but oof, we're not gonna know until next week. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes 10 and 11 of A Wedding When I Got Today. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the mattress squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons and next Monday for everybody else for episodes, uh, I'm about to say 11, 12, and 13. Bye, guys.